Hello guys, what's up fellas, what's up ladies, what's going on beautiful people of the United States of America and around the world. Uh, we are here again today live people. <clears throat> um, just coming out uh, more of a, a personal development, um, you know, sort of message today, okay. Um, you guys know how I love talking about uh, business and investment um, and, and, you know, moving forward and developing in those areas too. But what's most important, guys, is personal development, guys. And that's, that's pretty much one of the most important things when trying to um, get the most out of, you want, uh, out of what you want, right, within, within whatever area that you're doing, right? It could be business. It could be investments. It could be either working for somebody. It could be playing a sport. Uh, it can be starting your own project. It can be running a charity. Uh, it can be anything, guys, right? <clears throat> but mostly we'll stick with business, right, and investments and, uh, and with trading. Um, uh, you know, I'm starting to get some, uh, some messages and responses and hit-ups uh, from, from different people. And it's amazing. It's all good. It's awesome. You know, I love answering questions. I love uh, providing my input and, um, you know, uh, just some suggestions and advice. Again, I don't, you know, provide financial advice or anything like that. I'm not a financial advisor or a tax advisor or anything like that. But the message today is to um, stay in your lane of growth. And what do you mean, Calvin, when you say stay in your lane of growth? I mean to focus on your growth only, okay? So if I am in a group right if i am say in a trading group or an investing group and someone is doing better than me that's awesome you know that's awesome i give them a round of applause but i am not going to stress myself if i am not at their level yet okay i feel like a lot of people that are coming into this space right uh you know, either trading, investing, or business, or this could be even, uh, you know, it could be even with something else, right? But a lot of people come into the space, they feel like, oh, you know, Susie actually, she gained, you know, 200% on her portfolio in the week. You know, why can't I do that? You know, why can't I do that? I should be able to do that. And when you try to compare yourself with somebody who's doing better, um, it's not good you know you want to focus on your own individual growth okay because if you start to measure uh, your tape of growth or success against somebody else um, you might even fall short fall a lot short why one you you don't know how long they've been doing it for two you don't know how much work they've been putting in okay and three you don't know exactly what their strategies and moves are okay so you know if you especially in trading guys i see this a lot you know i see this in in trading rooms a lot too guys um you know uh we'll all be you know a part of some group right and you know I'll, I'll have people, you know, I'll see people asking, oh, what are you doing for this trade? Or what are you doing for that trade? And, you know, they're getting kind of confused. Oh, I thought you said you're supposed to do this or you're, po you're supposed to put the stop loss there. Guys, you want to develop your own strategy, your own game plan. Once you start to really, uh, um, how should I say it, rely, especially on trading, you're supposed to be relying on your own analysis, on your own bias, okay? And if it's wrong, then it's wrong. That doesn't mean that you suck, right? Um, you know, trading is not a, you're not going to win every trade, right? So LeBron doesn't win every game. Kobe doesn't win every game. Like, uh, you know, big sports stars don't win every game. Big actors and actresses don't hit the parts every time. You have to move within your own bias, right? Within your own, you have to make your own decisions, right? So once you keep um, measuring yourself with somebody else's success, right? 
and I'm not talking about there there's certain platforms where they offer signals and stuff like that and again that's awesome that's fine but what I'm saying is when you're constantly seeing and checking and asking what literally other people are doing in their trades um, and again you know there's nothing wrong with that you know to a point but when when you're really uh, you get to a you, you get a point where you're not thinking for yourself right especially uh, if you already learned how to trade you already know technical analysis I don't have to go to Valerie or Susie or Tom or Ted and ask them uh, oh you know what'd you do here or what'd you do there you know I might say hey you know um, you know what trades you place you know and they may say oh you know I just traded a uh, I just traded the euro right I just traded the euro I just bought long I went long right and then you can ask them you know why you did that and you guys you guys can you know go back and forth but you don't have to be kind of like a, um, I wouldn't say a nuisance, but every single time you're trying to sort of uh, piggyback off somebody else's analysis, right? Because again, that's that's wrong, not only because obviously you want to win, okay, but it could be, it's wrong because what if they're wrong? You know, what if your analysis was actually right in the beginning? Right, so this is what happens, and this goes for trading, this goes for investments, this goes for business. You don't have to literally copy somebody else's idea or business or investments or trade. It's good to be, uh, it's good to have your own idea, it's good to have your own bias, and it's good to execute it, right? Because once you execute on your own bias, guys, and it's it's not from anywhere else but your own bias, that's going to reinforce your confidence, especially if it goes your way. But if you keep going ahead and, um, you know, piggybacking off of somebody's efforts, right, and I'm not saying that's completely bad, but over a period of time, if you can't think for yourself, uh, you're going to rely on that. Um, that's not good either you know that is definitely definitely not good you know so it's definitely good that's when I say you want to stay in your own lane of growth whenever uh, you know once you're uh, pursuing either things in, in business or investments or trading uh, or anything right you want to stay with what you're good at right because you know, Susie could be good at trading futures and options, right? But, you know, I'm good at probably, I'm good at trading crypto and Forex, right? And stocks, right? But what she's good at and what I'm good at are different, right? And so, you know, say if I, I could talk to her and say, hey, you know, why, why did you make this trade? Or what made you place this trade? What did you see? Or, you know, stuff like that. And she could just tell me, she's, we're probably going to talk and be like, hey, you know, let's look at the charts. Let's see what's good. And once we look at the charts, then we can, you know, discuss more. You know, it all goes back to not only technical analysis, but she may have something on the inside that may move the market, right? So um, it's always good to have your own bias and move in your own way. Even if you're wrong, guys, even if you're wrong, um, you know, it's always good to have your own opinion, right? And your own bias in moving forward and making that trade, making that investment, starting that business or whatever, right? Because if you're right, right, that's amazing, right? And say, say if you had a really good bias or really good idea or a good strategy, but you weren't confident in yourself to go ahead and lay it on the line and go ahead and execute that um and somebody else had this somebody there's seven billion people in this world guys so we're all thinking similar things right so somebody else probably in europe did something that was similar or the same thing you were thinking of doing and you went with Susie's idea they implemented that idea that you originally thought 
and they were successful, you're going to be beating yourself because you should have went with your original idea and your original thought and your original plan, right? So this is, again, this is why I say it's always, always good to stay in your lane of growth, right? And don't worry about who cares if Ted or Susie or Valerie, they made 5,000 last week or last month or 20,000 or 100,000, right? You don't know the types of trades they're doing, right? And if you want to, you can definitely ask, you know, and, you know, talk to them, get a little bit of insight and see what's up. But you don't have to necessarily copy everything that they're doing, right? Because um, <clears throat> they could have been that that you don't know what that income is coming from right so you know i always love to talk to and you know conversate with real traders you know and investors that are making uh real trades you know daily weekly monthly and yearly um and that actually know what they're doing right um i realize especially on youtube it's very all these all these concepts and all these things sound really juicy. These technical analysis and everything, it sounds really juicy in theory and it sounds so good. But when you're out there in the real markets and you're trading, uh, it really makes me question: Are these guys really trading with real money? It's not because uh, if they were trading with real money, I feel like they'd be more emotional and uh and really knowing what they're what they're trying to do and knowing what they're doing right so <clears throat> again guys uh you know be definitely be careful be careful of who you listen to uh be careful of who you get your information from uh again this is the digital realm but this is also the information age Okay, this is not the industrial age. This is not the stone age. This is the digital realm and this is the information age, right? So it's always good to have your own bias and your own, uh, you know, uh, opinion but when moving forward with a trade or an investment, right? So it's, and don't worry and who cares, you know, you, you, know, you and your friend, and that's good too. It's all I love talking investments, trading, you know, watch lists, everything like that. But if somebody else is investing, say if you know we, I'm talking with someone, uh, you know, I met at a conference. We're talking about uh, crypto, right? He says, "Man, I'm investing to XLM. I think XLM is going to go up. I think it's going good." And I go back. I say, "Why?" You know, and he he tells me why. I say, oh, interesting. You know, I don't have to go ahead and invest in XLM, right? So I have my own portfolio, my own watch list, right? But again, it's always good to exchange and to know what, you know, others are up to maybe. But it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I have to copy their, uh, their watch list, their portfolio. I have to do everything they're doing because they may be doing something that they're really good at. Right. And let's talk more. Let's talk more broad. Right. So let's uh, besides crypto. Right. Let's talk more broad. Let's talk. Say if someone's investing in real estate. Right. And someone's thinking uh, of trying to, uh, you know, fix and flip a property. <clears throat> they come to me with uh, they come to me and they say, hey, man, you, know, you should do fix and flips. Uh, or you should do buy and holds. I think it'd be really great in your portfolio. You know, and they're probably right, right? But I'm not good at that. I'm not going to stress myself out over it. I'm not going to keep worrying and stressing myself over that. Why? Because I'm not good at that. And uh, I'm not willing to spend money on that in my career just yet. But, you know, I can listen and tune in, right? Um, but if they said, hey, you know, I'm doing, you know, I'm setting up a project, you know, me and my team, we're going in and we're going in and fixing and, and flipping some, uh, fixing and flipping, flipping some apartments, right? Would you like to join? Um, you know, I'd probably say, I'd definitely say yes, but I'm not touching a damn thing. I'm putting money in and I'm expecting a return, right? Because I'm not lifting a hammer, okay? 
so that is pretty much um, that, you know, and th they have those real estate, you know, funds out there. You know, you guys have probably been uh, approached by somebody like that, too. And those are awesome guys, right? There's definitely different types of funds out there. Again, you have to invest at your own risk, right? And you have to do what you're comfortable in, okay? But that is what it is because they could be good at that, but I'm good at seeing the numbers in the deal and making a solid decision, right? Um, what I'm not good at is taking a hammer and starting to fix and flip a property. Um, I could probably get good at that, but that would stress me out and I don't really have time for that right now, right? So <clears throat> that's pretty much what it is, guys. You want to stay in your circle of competence, right? Stay with what you're good at. And uh, if you have a bias, you know, I would say go along with it, you know, stick with it. Don't just erase your bias just because, oh, you know, you see a headline on Yahoo Finance. Oh, Bitcoin's going to crash. And I've seen plenty of the I I've traded against many of the headlines and that I read on CNN, that I hear on the news, that I hear on Yahoo Finance, MSN, whatever. They're saying, oh, Bitcoin's dropping. It's dropping fast. You know, take your money out. I'm saying no. Why would I? Why would I take it out now? Where, where is Bitcoin going? You know, and, and, and next thing you know, I'm, I end up being right. That bias that I had, I said no. I'm trading it up. Do these guys not see the charts? Do they not know the technology? Do they not know what's good? And apparently they don't know because they're all journalists. They're not traders. Okay, so you have to have your own bias, guys. You have to. If you know what you're doing, just be confident in what you're doing and move forward you know so you know that's pretty much what it is guys all right so stay in your lane of growth if somebody else next to you is doing really better that's cool try to learn from them right uh don't stress out you know you will get there uh you just have to be patient and work at your own time right so if a business partner of mine is you know earning like two million dollars that year you know, I'm definitely sitting down, we're having lunch, we're having dinner, we're having some wine, we're gonna talk what happened, what, how did he come to that point, right? But am I gonna stress myself over, hey, they made money or be jealous? Of course not. You know, th this is time to learn. This is time to exchange information. This is time to understand the game, you know? And um, this is time to really take your growth and really stay in your lane to get to the next level. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is, guys. That is the, you know, personal development nugget that I had and I want to share with you guys today. Um, I know that lots of crazy things are happening in, you know, in the crypto markets, even the stock market, uh, just even in the economy in general. You know, we know the Fed is printing, you know, billions of dollars per month now um, and this is ongoing uh, and we're probably going to be receiving more stimulus which is hey I mean it's free money right it's great uh, but uh, you know the real investors the real traders the economists they know what's happening and you know you got to know on how to protect yourself in this economy now okay so that's all that I have to say, guys. Um, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, definitely let, let me know what you think about this. And, um, you know, go ahead, comment below. And please, guys, go ahead, like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps uh, this content circulate around YouTube so more people can get updated on this type of information. All right, I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Peace out.